Great to have you back on The Breakfast here on PLOS TV Africa. Just before our next uh, major conversation, we have, of course, a quick report on the incident in Ikoyi, um, uh, where, of course, a building did collapse, a 21-story building. And, of course, right after that, we'll be giving you updates on the, um, well, Rest, search and rescue efforts that have been ongoing for the last uh, couple of, uh, uh, what, last 24 hours. Enjoy this. Digging continued on Tuesday morning as rescue workers searched for persons trapped under the rubble of the 21-story building that collapsed the day before. This was the moment two more people were rescued. An ambulance quickly drives them away to the hospital. The general manager of the Lagos State Emergency Management Agency, Femi Oke Osointolu, assures that no one would be left behind. I need to assure all of you that we are on top of the challenges. The operation is still ongoing, is light. All the top echelons in Lagos State are on the ground. Nobody is sure about the number of people still trapped, and this is why. Like I said, it's a construction site. People come in. We understand also that some people came in just to inspect. Maybe they wanted to buy or something like that. So we don't know the number because, so because people are just coming in. So we are not sure the number. The collapsed building is one of three towers being developed on the site. The deputy governor discloses that an integrity test will be carried out on the others. He also debunks reports that the collapsed building had approval for only 15 floors. This particular one was approved for 21 floors, it's not 15. The second building will also be audited in terms of integrity test. And of course, if we find anything, then the appropriate action will be taken. It's important to also announce that we have an agency that's supposed to do this job. And that's why they came in around July to check. And when they saw the anomalies, they shut the site down. The rescue effort is continuing into the night and may last days. Hilary Noroka for PLOS TV Africa. Really sad uh, uh, story there. Of course, uh, you got to see uh, the uh, Lasema head, uh, uh, Mr. Femi Okeo Saintolu, who, of course, we did speak with yesterday uh, to, of course, ask as many questions as possible, find out exactly what uh, uh, delayed the rescue efforts and how successful they will be. And um, also the uh, Deputy Governor of Lagos, Abafemi Hamzat, who was also there uh, speaking with journalists and getting to also be, uh, give his own live reporting um, as to what exactly happened um, on Monday in Lagos. Really, really sad. And of course, updates that we have say about 22 people have been confirmed dead with nine uh, um, rescued and of course uh, hospitalized currently. We hope that uh, there's more people who were found alive and well and of course, uh, you know, get uh, the best medical treatment um, going forward. Mm, hopefully. We also uh, would say yes, uh, we commend the efforts of the Lagos State Government and everyone who's trying to ensure that uh, uh, those who are trapped under that rubble uh, rescued. We also would say that um, there's a lot of work that needs to be done as much as we can. Uh, let's uh, come together, join hands and ensure that uh, people are rescued because, uh, you know, time is of the essence. Yeah. Say a prayer if you can. All right. We'll go on a short break when we come back. Our uh, first major conversation for today, we're going to be speaking about technology and transportation here in Lagos and across uh, the whole of Nigeria and the continent. Um, there is some very, very interesting innovation that uh, we're going to be speaking about next after this break. Good morning. <laughs>